In this video, we will be demonstrating step-by-step -step techniques for safely solo lifting a canoe. First, step to the middle of your canoe. Grasp the gunwale wall closest to you and tilt the canoe up on the gunwale wall furthest from you, like so. From here, bend at the knees while pulling the underside of the canoe onto your thighs. This will allow you to reach over and grasp the yoke and gunwale with ease. Next, reach across the canoe with your bow side arm and pull the gunwale toward you while shifting the inner gunwale down to your thigh. Now you must find balance. Get yourself into a seated position. Try to reach a 90 degree angle in your knees. This allows you to control the canoe and take your time lifting. When balanced with your stern side arm, reach between your legs and pat the baby's bottom, like so. With your arm between your legs, you are more aligned with the yoke. This will ensure you do not end up behind it. With your bow arm up top and your stern arm beneath, it is time to use your legs. The key to solo lifting a canoe is not muscle, but rather using the strength of your legs with the guidance of your arms. Ready? Rock on your toes and heels with your hips. This builds up momentum. When ready, use that momentum to send the canoe up from your thighs while pivoting your feet 90 degrees forward and standing straight. The arm hugging the gunnel wall will guide the canoe up and over while the opposite arm will guide the canoe down gently. Okay, let's see that again. Now that the canoe is on your shoulders, find balance by reaching your arms out ahead of you completely and grasping the gunnels from the inside. This protects your hands from cuts and scrapes while on the portage and actually stops you from pulling down the bow. What goes up must come down. Do your best to relax. Bringing the canoe down can be just as dangerous as lifting it. First, resume the position of bow hand on the yoke or gunnel and stern arm reached out, patting the side of your canoe. When ready, use those legs again and bend at the knees a couple of times before gently popping the canoe up. As you do this, pivot 90 degrees back and get into a seated position with your arms guiding the canoe to your lap. When comfy, gently ease the canoe to the ground, one end at a time. Okay, one more time. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember, injuries are greatly intensified out in the bush, so take your time when soloing and think about each step. Happy tripping!